talk about how to make a, a vinyl cut using Corel Draw, bringing in your design or using the, the text that's available for you and coming up with uh, a nice product. So we're going to be using Corel Draw. A lot of you are familiar with Corel Draw, so some of this is going to be relatively easy for you. The easiest thing to do on a vinyl cutter is to make letters. So I'm going to show you how to make letters real quick. Uh, there are two types of, of text. The text we're going to be using is graphical text, which is clicking on the A and just clicking wherever you want your text to start. And then start typing. Now if we click on the pick tool, we're able to manipulate that to any size that we want and any font that we want. You can pull down the font and change the font without a problem. Now we are we are not going to be needing all of this fill inside the lettering. So if we click over here on this little X that gets rid of all of our fill. Now you'll panic right away because it looks like everything went away. It actually didn't. It's still there, it's just white. So now in the lower right hand corner we have to double click on the pen tool which is the outline um, feature. So instead of none we're going to put hairline and it's going to be black click OK and it came back. Now uh, we could cut this just like it is however it's going to work a lot better if you convert this to curves because our cutter is only configured to one computer. So we have to move this from this computer over to the other computer use, using a USB drive. So we're going to right click on what we want to convert to curves and click on convert to curves and this basically has changed those letters into a picture. So no matter what I do right now, I can't edit this. It does not come up to anything but text or, I mean, I'm sorry, anything but a graphical image. Okay, so this is ready to roll. We can, we can print this at this point. Now let's say if we want to put in an image in. Images are a little bit more difficult. I'm going to bring in one that's already been um, brought in from the internet. We're going to hit import. Uh, a lot of times the pictures will will come into the pictures folder. I'm going to just use these flames just for an example. So I imported these in. Now if I were to check to see if this is going to um, gonna vinyl cut, I can go up to view, wireframe, and it will show me the exact path that the vinyl color we're going to go through. This would just do a box and that would be it. There isn't any other lines. These are all just faded color ends. Okay, just like this, this will work. This, These letters here will come out without a problem. I'm going to go back to my normal view and I'm going to do some manipulation. I'm going to have the computer trace around everything and make everything an object. So if I hit quick trace, it will actually trace something over the top of it. So if I do that same thing again, if I go to view, wireframe, you'll notice that now we have lines, we don't have this glob. Okay, So now I'm going to go back to view, normal again, and I'm going to get rid of this one because we don't need it. I'm going to bring this one back up into position because I want all my image just to look like that. I'm going to bring it up here a little bit. Now this is grouped. So before we group it, I want to get rid of all of the color. So I'm going to hit this. Notice how it went away. And just like we did with the letters, we need to do an outline. We're going to do a hairline outline. Say OK. And it comes up again. Now I'm going to zoom into this by zooming into selected item. Now if you look at all of these, the, there's little lines in here we need to get rid of. So you kind of have to play with it. Each time you bring something in it's going to be a little different. So we're going to right click on this and we're going to ungroup this. Now if we click away from it and then click on something we want to get rid of. Like if we want to get rid of this little line here, we click on that and we're going to hit delete or right click delete. Try that one more time. Right click, delete. Now notice that it took away this whole section. 
and this appears to me to be these all tend to be a little different section so we don't want those we want one continuous line all the way around this flame to be cut out so I'm going to go through and delete each one of these okay and I bet I could click on one and hold the shift key and click on another one and delete both of them at the same time I'm not going to waste your time uh, as I delete every single one of them but you can kind of get the idea sometimes um, if you do this and it doesn't come out looking real good sometimes the best choice is to find another image another image that is going to look a little bit better going to be easier this image I did take from the internet and it worked really well in this instance I just have to manipulate this by removing some of the the items as you can see what it's going to look like um, it should cut without a problem now the next thing is to save it on on a drive you don't have to export it in any crazy way you just go file save as and then bring it to bring it to whatever drive you have stuck in there generally it's this, the e drive wherever you put your your um, USB drive now when we go to to print it we're gonna have to print it um, on the other computer and it's a print job where where it's going to a cutter so it's not exactly like a printer it does a few different things first off you have to pick the correct cutter now this is based on where you put it into the computer so you will check the computer to make sure that it's active and you pick the one that happens to be active so let's just say that the copy one was the active one we're not sure now by default it's gonna come down here right in the middle of the image we need to hit layout and click print tiled pages then it will automatically go up in the upper left hand corner we will know how to set our cutter up and then when we hit print it'll go right to the cutter.